Facial thermography is one tool being employed at power generation stations globally to help reduce the spread of COVID-19 by detection of elevated skin temperatures. While thermography has proven to be an exceptional tool, the objective of this video is to identify best practices and limitations of use to ensure optimum performance. When scanning a subject, distance and accuracy are directly correlated. The closer the distance, the more accurate the reading. These readings are used to establish a pass-fail criteria for further evaluation. The potential accuracy of the reading is dependent on the model of infrared camera. As distance grows, accuracy drops and the maximum temperature is much lower due to limitations of the infrared camera's measurement capabilities. Accurate facial thermography results can be obtained from measuring the tear duct in the corner of the eye. Distance, focus, and clear line of sight are very important to an accurate reading. Other important instrument considerations include calibration of the camera for the specific use of reading body temperature. Accuracy specification varies with each device, but for most industrial infrared cameras, it is plus or minus 2%. Proper parameters must be entered into the camera, such as emissivity, background, and transmission. Important environmental considerations include ambient air temperature where data are collected, conditions that would cause convection, wind, fans, blowers, movement, the consistency of the environmental temperature, how long the subject has been in the environment, relative humidity and distance to subject may have some minimal influence, subject movement. Important human factors include where are you taking the measurement, if radiometric data is used? What set point is being used, and for what area of the face when using isotherm or alarm analysis tools? Activity level of the subject prior to examination. Medical history of the subject. Whether the subject has dry or wet skin. Level of clothing prior to and during examination glasses, hats, or other accessories the subject might be wearing. And the time of day. The human body changes temperature throughout the day. Thermography equipment should be operated by qualified personnel. For more information, consult these documents for further reference. ISO standard, ISO TR-13154, entitled Medical Electrical Equipment, Deployment, Implementation, and Operational Guidelines for Identifying Febrile Humans Using a Screening Thermograph, and the EPRI Guide 30020125.82 Infrared Thermography Guide, which contains information on calibration, training, and many other factors to consider when using thermography equipment.